Hey there, YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about um, Crossman Airsoft BBs. But before I get started, I'd like to say one thing. These are not the highest quality BBs on the market. There are many different brands of BBs that are better than this, such as G&G, &G, Elite Force, um, Gold Ball. Those are all much better, but I get these because they're cheap, and I have no real airsoft store around my town, so... I have to go to Walmart and get these, but don't be like, ooh, don't get them. I get them. Um, I've been using them for about two years now, I think, and I have not had one crack in my gun, not one break. Um, so until that happens, I'm going to keep using these. Um, so let's get started. Uh, well, first we're going to go over pricing um, for... A container about this size of non biodegradable point twos. It's gonna cost you around seven bucks, but that's not bad. Um, it's pretty cheap. And for a big container like this of point twos, um, it's gonna cost you around fourteen, fifteen bucks. And then for a big bag of for for twenty point two fives non biodegradable, this size is gonna cost you around. Eight bucks, and for this size, for 0.25s in a big 5,000 cal container, is gonna cost you about 16, 17 bucks. But that's still good. Um, they do come in these two sizes, um, in biodegradable 2.2s, but they're this size about 10. This size is about 20ish almost, which got gets kind of pricey if you want to use point if you want to use point two biodegradables but I do use them my field requires my play at so I get those a lot but I use these in my sniper and just protect target shooting these are 25 non biodegradable and these are 0.2 non biodegradable um yeah one thing I have to mention is that these are a 5,000 count container and these are a 2,000 count container so you just gotta weigh the prices there um so back to it these are point twos. I mean, sorry, point fives, non biodegradable. Um, I have in the bag because these containers are. I got airsoft stuff falling everywhere. I got because these are hard to load out of, so I use these to to load. And then these are pretty easy because you can just unscrew the top here and uh, just start pouring right in your magazines. Um, these are the BBs are seamless. And they're also polished. Um, what I mean by seamless is crappier BBs. Um, when they make them, they take two halves and they like basically mold it together. Um, and then when you, you shoot those, they'll crack on that. They'll crack and break on that seam, and um, that's not good. So these are seamless. Like they, which means they put it. They all. They like mold it all together at once. They don't put two halves together. Um, and polished. It well. It's pretty self-explanatory. They're just polished, which um, allows them to fly a little more accurate and down the barrel. So, um, that you can, um, all you can get cross cells are only six millimeter BBs. So you have like an eight millimeter, like those Tokyo or Maria, I think they are um, M1s, Grands. Those are, take eight millimeter. So if you have one of those, um, these won't work. And yeah, that basically does it. But I like to say one thing, just because I said you could go out and buy these. I don't have no problem with it, but don't buy, never buy, point one two gram BBs, even if they're Crossman or any brand, um, especially if they're clear, because those clear ones aren't seamless, like I mentioned. So they will definitely break under a higher powered gun. So um, go check them out. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.